Lynn Martin has asked me the question, who was most influenced by the style of painting? Um, going back to when I was a kid, uh, the first artist I can remember watching was Tony Hart on the BBC. Me and my sister used to watch him during the school holidays. Um, but then I went, after, once I left school, I must have got about uh, nearly 20 years, never even picked up a brush. Uh, he was uh, watching a scene of the watercolour starter kit here where I am now in Breen, Carboosal, funnily enough. Um, I had a bash at that and it just took off from there really. The way I did it personally, rather than reading loads of books or bits of class or whatever, I found watching videos was the best way to learn. So what I did, even in the UK, there's a, something called Love Film where you could rent DVDs through the post. If you go on their website, I don't know if they've got equivalents around the world, um, but I, th I think Love Film only ships to the UK, although I've never actually checked. They had about, there must be about 20 odd painting DVDs on there and I just rented out every single one of them. Starting off, um, I think the first one I ever saw was Ron Ranson. I just had one of Ron Ranson's, but it's the one that really sort of inspired me and kick-started the whole thing off. Um, rather than the DVD, it was his book, Skies, that really helped me, I think, more than anything else. Like he said in his book, once you've got a good sky in, it gives you confidence in for the rest of the painting. Um, so as well as Ron Ranson, also on the Love Film, I rented loads of Frank Clark's and his Simply Painting show. They've got another good half a dozen on there. There's about three or four episodes on each DVD, so I watched loads of Frank Clark. Um, Alwyn Crawshaw, he's got a DVD on there. With, uh, something like watercolour cruise where he goes around the Mediterranean just painting at each port as he gets off the boat so that was a really interesting DVD and uh, Bob Ross as well I mean I absolutely love watching Bob Ross I bought his starter kit and had a go that for a while and I do look I'm quite busy because I haven't done it for a while but, uh, I need to get back to walk. I love the, the sort of unfussy nature of watercolours. You can just pick up your kit and just go. There's no preparation. I don't even have to squeeze the paints out or anything because everything I've already got them dry on my palette. So I'd say they're my biggest influences. 